let's just start from the very top here, mm -hmm. from the very beginning. Yeah. So I'm going to introduce you again. Yeah. Should I walk on again? Or should yeah. So, Phil, welcome back again. <laughs> it's a, you've just appeared by, <laughs> by magic here again. So, obviously, uh, as we were talking before, um, and apologies if we've had some sound issues there, um, tell us a little bit more about the Chili Philly story. So, I started uh, my Chili Philly account uh, eight years ago, but I've been crocheting and knitting years previously. Um, but essentially, I wanted to create wearable art. So I started taking photos of these wearable art pieces. They're mainly themed around food. And uh, I started an Instagram account. And so, yeah, so I just kept uploading photos and eventually videos. And I kind of amassed a nice little following, which, was, uh, which has allowed me to um, be able to do the things I do today. So, yeah, hats right. pull out. The and it's definitely worth for you, obviously. Yeah. As we mentioned before, you know, you have 100,000 followers mm -hmm. on Instagram, which is fantastic. And you've been on radio and on TV mm -hmm. and, and featured in big uh, magazines as well. Yeah. So um, well done. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, as we are talking before about the organic yarn, um, and I know that you've, you've been working with some yes. organic yarns. Yes. Um, uh, this is obviously one, if you missed it before, that we are going to be having in our stores very soon. Um, it will come in 20 colours. and. You know, Lincraft is mindful of the impact that we've had on, uh, that we have on the environment uh, when yarns are produced. Um, so we're investing more in this type of yarn. So low impact in the environment. And, and really cotton has been the leading fibre in, in the whole environmental uh, awareness um, in the textile industry. And it's, it's a lead textile for this as well. Yeah, yeah. I know sometimes I think about like, I used to make things to wear out going out and they get really dirty and stuff like that. And, you know, if you wash acrylic things, you know, the pipe is going to the water, sure. going to the ocean. So, yeah, so whenever I think about sort of things for summer and stuff like that, that's why I also think Fantastic. Cotton. Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, as we said before, obviously, you know, uh, natural fibres being cotton and wool uh, is a part of it, um, you know, and Linkraft uh, uh, has been listening to our customers. Obviously, we get asked for more and more chunky style yarns um, every year. Um, so, you know, starting this season, we'll have a range of chunky yarns. This will probably be one of our hero chunky yarns, 100% um, pure wool. It's going to be a great, um, a great um, yarn to to knit those chunky jumpers and those those comfortable yeah. things that you want to cozy into uh, during the winter months. So I know you've uh, worked with this one. Yeah. Show us something on this. Yeah. Now? Yeah. Something I made in the last week with it. So I made Fantastic. this. Fantastic. You've been busy. Yeah. This nice little <laughs> woolen top. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really warm. It's Fantastic. Feels great, and obviously the colours, you know, really vibrant, especially for something um, natural. Yeah, you know, perfect. It's great, but yeah, no, whip this up in last week, and I love it. Fantastic. So uh, obviously, you know, there's nothing like the feel of of, of wool in your garments. Um, we also have a new Higgy Twist yarn uh, that again is in stores now. This is a wool blend, so obviously it comes at a price point uh, that is affordable. And again, great for, for needing those baby's blankets and those baby um, outfits. It's got a really nice feel um, for those items there. And one of our new and exciting chunky yarns, the Velour Plush. Who mm. doesn't like Velour Plush? Yes, I like Phil. That. Uh, that's you know going to be a great yarn to do those homeware items with those cushions, those blankets, um, and even those kids' toys. Yes, I know. I was playing with it the other day. I think I'll make a bag out of it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it'd be perfect to go with some of those outfits you've already yes. done. Fantastic. So, we saw what you did with the wool yarns before, so fantastically chunky yarns. Um, as we said, these are in stores now, so get in and have a look. Um, the Higgy Twist yarn, as I mentioned before, has been a real fast seller for us, so this has been popular already. Um, and um, get into the stores and, and check out the range as soon as you can. Just as we mentioned at the top of the show, obviously we've got a range of um, winter yarns. Want to take you through some of those now. So obviously this is our crystal yarn. Now this is just pure luxury, 20% um, alpaca. If this was a car, it would be a Bentley. It's so beautiful. Um, you can imagine knitting up your shawls and beautiful scarves and those high-end items with this yarn. So yeah, feel on that, feel. I know it's so soft. And, you know, having that um, percentage of alpaca in there just gives a, a next level feel and, and creation, you know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. remember, Linkraft is here to inspire. Um, so we hope when you come into our stores, you know, we inspire that creativity. Yeah. Oh, especially with these colours. Excellent. 
Uh, we mentioned the Higgy twist before, just obviously quickly on that one. Uh, beautiful, uh, fin uh, beautiful feeling uh, yarn um, that comes in six colors. So um, great range of colors for you to knit those items with. Um, Velour plush, as we mentioned, great chunky yarn. So this has got a great feel. And again, that can eight colors. Sherpa puff. Now, these are big. You're not going to miss these in stores. This is a big ball of yarn. And uh, 200 grams, uh, lots of things you can knit yeah. with this or, or crochet with this. Yeah. It's a great lightweight yarn and uh, perfect for all those accessories and a lightweight top. So mm -hmm. look out for this one. It is a two-tone yarn, so you'll find it will give you a real good finishing effect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've already made the hat out of this. So fantastic. Well, already, yeah. yeah, look forward to seeing that. Fantastic. Uh, now, Spirit Glitter, um, now I know Phil's going to show us in a second something he's made from this. This is um, this is just under 400 metres of yarn. There is nothing you can't knit or crochet with this. It will give you metres of uh, endless opportunities and inspiration. So, Phil, I know you've done something yeah, like this. So yeah. show us what you've made well, from the, the Spirit Glitter. Yeah, which is funny because, yeah, I've... I had two balls of this and they're still pretty full after I've made this. But I uh, started working on a little top here. Fantastic. But yeah, like you were saying, like I didn't realize until I started really crocheting with it that it really does have that sort of crystal sparkly effect yeah. going on and it's great. Great so, color difference, hey? Yeah. yeah. And soft, perfect for an outfit like that. Oh, yeah. It's soft <laughs> and, and glittery. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> yeah. And we all need a bit of glitter in our lives at the moment, don't we? Definitely. Um, so that really covers off some of the yarns that we've got um, in our stores at the moment. Obviously, we have full range of yarns and we cover off all your basic acrylic yarns all the time. These are just to highlight some and snapshot some of the um, new winter yarns that we are featuring. Um, something else we'd like to talk about is obviously something we're really proud of our association with Kogo, a shadowy knitting organisation. And remember, Kogo's line is knit one, um, give one. Um, so we're recently very proud to work with them on our Christmas Angel project and uh, we're able to give them a check for $18,879.67. So uh, that was presented to them last week and we're really proud to be associated with them all year round um, and look forward to continue doing that going forward in the next year. So something we really enjoy uh, uh, being a part of. Um, don't forget when you're in Lincraft stores, become a member. You can do this in store or online. Um, so there's great benefits. If you're a Lincraft member, you will always get the best price in the store. Um, if you accrue 250 points, you'll get a $10 voucher and you'll always get a voucher on your birthday, which is fantastic. And who doesn't like something for free? So if you sign up in stores, or as I said, if it's more convenient, you can do that online and just go to the um, sign up button uh, that's on there as well. I had a look at that today and it's easy to click in and, and join up. Now, some of your followers have um, sent in some questions for us. Um, so um, I'll start off with the first one. Um, Phil, who inspires you? Who inspires me? I guess, like, my biggest inspiration, well, I guess I already said, um, I started making sort of outfits to do drag. So sort of performance outfits, those sorts of things. Um, I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned it before, but I started doing outfits with reveals, like layered outfits. Sure. Um, playing with all sorts of textures, all that sort of thing. So whenever I think about things I want to make, generally it's got some sort of semblance of performance in it, yeah. you know, especially because I take photos and videos with them. I need, I they need to sort of do a little bit more than just sort so of. A lot of you got to have a lot of technical features there as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, literally. Fantastic. That's great. Um, now, a lot of people are asking, what are the main types of yarns you use? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of yarns so yep. they can use. What what do you find you use mostly? Well, because what I do is mainly for photos and video, um, I go strictly for visual most of the time. So anything with really vivid colours, um, sort of texture, all that sort of stuff. Um, so a lot of acrylic, just because they really do have the punchy colours yeah, um, and the range. Like we have back Yeah, here, yeah, like all color. of these. Yeah, these are like my regular, like, yeah. you know, yeah. all of these these ones over here. Fantastic. So, yeah, mainly acrylic, but like I was saying before, going more practical with jumpers and um, things like that. Sure. Fantastic. Obviously, I change, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And um, obviously, you, you've created a, a lot of uh, fantastic um, headwear styles, mm -hmm. um, which are a feature on your Instagram page. So 
you know, a lot of people are asking, who inspires you? Um, to Who inspired you originally to do that? And where do you get your inspiration from for these um, products? Well, if I think about it outside of like, you know, performers, like whenever I think about sort of what I want to make, I always think about a silhouette. So I guess like fashion and stuff like that is what I sort of get inspiration for, for sort of creating shapes and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, some people wonder why, like how I can think of making an outfit that looks like a watermelon, but I think yeah. about the shape of a watermelon and yeah, think, yeah, oh, yeah. what's, what's a fun outfit that utilizes, you know, a cut watermelon shape. So yeah, yeah, I do a lot of sort of thinking about silhouettes and how I can interpret sort of shapes and all that sort of thing in what I do. And so, yeah, that's why food is such an easy thing to sort of Absolutely. Do. And I mean, obviously on your Instagram page, if people haven't been on there, go on there and have a look. Uh, you'd see some of the fantastic um, ideas that you've, cr you know, turned from yarn into creations. Um, it's it's great to have a look at what you've done there, and um, they look amazing. Mm -hmm. Super creativity. Mm -hmm. um, so, generally, how long do some of your projects take? I mean, obviously, you can imagine some things are more intricate than others, but what would you say? How long it really takes to do some of these? Um, well, usually with Pats, I say a day or two, which I think sounds like a really short period of time for people, but that's of a solid yes. six to eight hours a day, yes. like lots of coffee sitting there just focusing on working because um, I do do it full time. So I do have yeah. all the time to be doing that. Yeah. Um, but for outfits, weeks, I would say, yeah. um, especially if it is layered and has a lot more detail, um, that will, you know, definitely take weeks. Jumpers, funnily enough, yeah, de also take weeks yeah. of solid time. Um, but I think that's because you really trying to make yeah and you're creating it from scratch so yeah obviously uh it's not something you get off the, off the shelf yeah 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 I'd exactly <laughs> oh fully fantastic um so obviously we've had some um other questions from from followers um so uh, we had one question with regards to um how to cal uh, calculate how many stitches they need to do a plus size so there is a lot to that and uh we'll have that on our download so there'll be uh, extra information that we'll um, cover off on that um, and let you know how to go about that. Um, so Phil, a lot of people ask, what is the most difficult project you've ever made? Um, and I know you're probably going to say all of them. Yeah. Uh, oh. But does, does any come to mind um, that have been the most difficult or uh, challenging? Challenging. I would say, I would say most of my outfits. I think one of the hardest things with sort of making things, because I don't, I don't um, plan what I make out. So I always just do everything off the top of my head and then whatever whatever comes out, comes out. So I guess like a lot of my outfits are a lot, probably a lot more difficult because, you know, I ha I'm actively fitting them on me right. and because they are sort of, they, it's not like I'm making a jumper and I can adjust the, the sure. stitches yeah. and um, yeah. rows in that way. I'm just sort of making it up as I go. If, if it's wrong, then I have to start again. So almost most of my things I've had to redo. Yeah many times yeah. um so do you find then um you you may have a plan for an idea and then it ends up turning into something else does that quite often happen oh yeah fully even that um that top i showed you before um that i said ha i hadn't quite done it doesn't quite look like how i want it to look right now but i did sort of undo it and mm -hmm. when i come home i'm gonna sort of re rejig it a little bit um so yeah like I, yeah, I still always actively like undo things, redo things like all the time, yeah, even so the, the simple things. So that inspiration, you know, will take you in a different direction yeah. quite often. Uh, it turns into something else. Yeah, yeah, that was like, it wasn't, I think that, that ended up being too big. Um, <laughs> so, and that's almost dress size. So I think, um, yeah, maybe, you, you know, rolling with the punches is yeah. something that I do a lot. And, you know, I have an example of something I've kind of Fantastic. Well, we look forward to seeing um, how that one turns yeah, out. Um, and uh, if it ends up looking completely different to what it is now, you never know uh, what uh, that will be. Um, so another follower asked us how um, they can um, soften a yarn um, if a yarn's a little bit um, rough on the skin. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we would say that uh, the best place to do is put into a muslin bag or a pillowcase. Um, in a washing machine, use some traditional fabric softener, nothing too harsh. Um, check the instructions of the fabric softener uh, and wash that in that way, and that will soften it. Um, and if you go into any Lincraft store, you know, we're happy to help with any further advice on the yarns that we sell um, all the time anyway. Um, we're in our Melbourne store at the moment, so please come down to the Burke Street store. Make this a part of your shopping um, beginning when you come, yeah. come into Melbourne, um, and uh, the, the stuff here are happy to help you with any questions you may have on, on the yarn or any of the other departments that we have here yeah always here fantastic 
So look, uh, Phil, once again, thanks for coming in and being Thank our you. first guest on uh, Linkraft Live. Um, we plan to have a lot more of these, so stay tuned. And uh, we really appreciate um, those of you watching us on Instagram and Facebook uh, for your time. And uh, once again, thank you, and uh, thank you, and good night. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.